So we hit a little snag. Uh, we thought we were going to get this done before the New Year's, but it seems like we're going to be finishing this in 2019, literally. Uh, it's New Year's Eve right now, and what was was it was leaking. It was leaking coming from here, and then it was seeped through back, I believe, in the back end. I'm not sure yet, but I think it might be just coming over on top of this and leaking to the back here. You can see here how it's inside the cable. It's like a cone shape. And there's a hole right there, you can see right there. Let's see if I can get more sunlight here. There you go. See that? It's like a cone shape in there. And that's the Bonjo bolt cone shape in there. So what I thought to do was go ahead and uh, use some um, special fuel, uh, you know, uh, fuel resistant uh, silicone, not just a regular silicone. And then also some Viton uh, rubber seals to put inside of it. And that might help block it from having to run through the threads and leaking out. Because it seems like it's leaking out from the very top of this port. So if it was to be leaking right here in the bottom, it would squirt right here already. So that's a good sign. It's, an, it's not that hard to fix, I believe. It's just pretty much getting a rubber here. And then uh, putting a little bit on the thread, some of that special uh, heat resistant silicone. So that's what we did. We picked it up here. It's like a gasket. Permatex gasket dressing and sealing. Uh, it's for fuel resistant, and this is also the same thing. Exposure to fuel. It's a Viton. Let's see where I can get resolution there for you. It's like a Viton here. See, it says right there, Viton withstand exposure to fuel. And that's where they are. When we can actually use some of these things, some of them for our, you know, our um, Prima bolts. Because I did notice, uh, I guess I didn't tighten this enough. The engine wasn't even started yet. But this was leaking a little bit of motor oil. I kind of rubbed my hand on it. I felt it. So if it does it again, I retighten just a little bit more. But if it does happen again, we'll use one of these uh, Viton seals on it. I think probably one of this size right here will work the trick right there. But for right now, let's go ahead and fix this one. Because this is going to need to cure for about 24 hours. So that's why we pretty much have to... Well, at least we got the front brake right. I had to cut off the tie strap because... I'll put it back on tonight. I had to cut the tie strap because I had to uh, roll it back into the garage here. So let's go ahead and uh, put the one that's small enough there. So let's see here. A little stabber here. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and put some sealed and then we're going to tighten it. See which one's a good fit for it. It has extra back protection there. All right, so there we go. I think we can get like a maybe a, a medium sized one perhaps to put in there. And then we'll put, I think maybe one of the C. I don't want to get too big here. Probably want to go with something like enough to cover the banjo bolt, but at the same time allows it to still seal. So I think this might be, if you look at it, it might be uh, just about, let's see. It looks like it's still wiggling, so we want to get something smaller than this. So let's go and look for something a little bit smaller. And we don't want to get too small because we don't want to cover the hole, but we don't want to get too big either. Did we look at this one yet? This one looked like just right. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my camera angle isn't right today. Let's see how this one, yeah, this one work. This one goes right in. And then it yet it'll go past the threads and it'll land right there in the, the pretty much the funnel triangle. So let's go ahead and see how that screws in. And it'll put a little bit more rubber resistance here on the tip of the, um, the mill side. So this is how it'll hopefully sit right here like this. And then when it goes in, it's gonna be a little forced to be cushioned in a little bit more further. So that'll prevent the fuels from coming through the thread, if, if, if I'm not mistaken, since that's cone shaped. So it can just focus on dripping straight down to the smaller area hole, hole right there. So that's what our ideal would be. But before we do that, let's go and put some silicone on here or not silicone, but the gasket dressing sealant. 
keep on saying silicone and um, we'll put it into the thread and then we'll cure it for 24 hours and you'll see tomorrow if it leaks because we'll be continuing on